Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Super Mini Plus set for Bio Robo from Chodenshi Bio Man. So this is the outer box that the two smaller boxes come in so it's all in black and white. But you can see Bio Man down here, the Bio Robo with the jet configurations, sword and shield, all that good stuff. You can see Bio Jet 1, Bio Jet 2. If we go ahead and open this up, there are two boxes inside which are actually full color so we'll go ahead and pull these out and they look pretty similar to the front of this box where you have bio robo there with bio jet one and bio jet two so they pretty much look the same with the exception of at the bottom here you can see this one has one this one has two taking a look over here on the side shows you the jet and i guess how it transforms you can see kind of the feet and the arms and everything popping out Really nothing going on in the back. The backs are pretty much bare. And then uh, not too much going on on the side over here. Just kind of showing off the two jets again. So I'll be honest. I am not super familiar with Bioman. So this Bio Robo is very new to me. But I'm very excited. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and get him completely put together and stickered up. And then we're going to take a closer look. So here are the two jets fully assembled and stickered up. We have Biojet 1 and Biojet 2. And I'll be honest, there's not much to them on their own. They look good, though. You have retractable landing gear here in the front. Uh, there's little wheels here. This is actually a piece we're going to pull out and then flip around and plug back in for the robot mode. But it just kind of sits in there for right now. And then you can just kind of pop this back out here like so. And it's hard to see, but there are super tiny little pilots in the canopy there, which I think is actually pretty cool. And there's a fair amount of stickers. You have some stickers here on the top, some stickers here on the sides. I think all the red here is stickers. This is actually all paint here on the chest, just the yellow is a sticker, which is nice. So, not too bad. And then over here for Biojet 2. And you can kind of tell just from looking at them that this is going to be the upper torso and this is going to be the legs. This one has a fully retractable landing gear, so all three of these can fold in. You don't have to pull anything out and switch it around. These are all just easy little flip outs, which is nice. But you have the feet just kind of hanging off the back. This, I wish these kind of pegged together, but they don't. They peg in here. You can kind of see the little white pegs right there that peg into the top of the legs. But I kind of wish that there was a little spot to peg them in back here. I'm wondering if they tried something and maybe stress made it you know, break or tabbing them in was too much of a, a hassle, but whoop, I don't have one of the wings popped out. And this one has a fair amount of stickers as well. Up here, 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 some on the sides, all on the wings here, down here, and here. So again, there's not really too much to them in jet mode, but I think they both look good. We'll go ahead and do the combination. All right, so we'll start with Biojet 2. Uh, you're going to pop in all of the landing gear. You're going to pull these down. Now, this is honestly the hardest part of the transformation for me. Because a lot of times there's a mechanism in here to give you more leg articulation at the hip. And usually that's what pulls down. But there's actually, you can see this gray piece that you need to slide out. And for some reason it gets stuck on mine. I'm not really sure why. Especially on this second one. Okay, cool. There we go. So they popped out relatively easily. Which is nice. Okay, and then this is going to be the front, so we're going to rotate this around like so. And you can see the sticker here. This is actually all paint on the front here, which is nice. Oh, I forgot to fold in. There's little wings here that you fold in like so. And then we rotate this up here at the hip. You're going to pull the foot out so that you can rotate it. And then there's a joint in here so that you can bend this down. And then you kind of push it back in. So pull this out, rotate it, flip this down, and then kind of push this back in. Here we're going to take these fins and they're just going to fold in like so, very simply. Now these little pieces here, you don't have to fold them down, but if you want to get full knee articulation, you're going to have to. So basically what we need to do is we need to, and it's a little difficult honestly to kind of get a fingernail in here or something. There's not a great place to grab these, but you want to, let me see. 
these will fold back. There we go. So this will fold back. You're actually going to slide this white piece here over to the side like that and then you can fold this down now this shows and I'll see if I can do it the directions show this kind of coming all the way out to the side and then this pushing straight down and then folding this in just so you can kind of fit everything so I will open this back up we have to slide this back and it's really just kind of difficult to get my nail in there we go then we're going to slide this out to the side, then fold it down, and then we can pop this back in. So there you go. So that's pretty much it for the legs. You can kind of see it's just the waist and the legs. You can just kind of have these running around on their own. Uh, but then we're going to take this top section here, fold this in. Like I said, we're going to pull this section out which is a little easier said than done. They have tabs on the other side, so you just kind of have to wiggle this around, but when you're trying to get this back out, you flip it around, and then you just push this in. Now, the nice thing is when you're trying to get it out, there are little tabs on the side here that you can kind of grab onto to pull this back out when you need to, and then apparently you send it flying across the room because that's how that works. But the little wheels just peg into these little spots here. So you just peg that in like that. You can kind of already see that the arms are just kind of sitting here. So we're just going to go ahead and pop these straight down. Now the directions tell you to leave the arms like this. But if you want any kind of elbow articulation, you're going to have to swivel them at the bicep swivel 90 degrees. And then you just pop this section back. And that sits back there across that. And let's just take a quick look at this head. I love this head sculpt. Definitely giving me Batman vibes with those, those ears on the side. I really like that. And the head is 100% completely painted. There are no stickers on the head whatsoever. But I really like that design. That's really cool. Now this is kind of the hardest part. So kind of want to move the arms up a little bit. There are two pegs in here. Now they do have little tabs. And I'll see if I can zoom in so you can see. So right here, you kind of have to get your finger in here and push on these tabs so that this little peg will swivel out. You can see that there. And then there's a second one over here, which probably can't see too well, but it's right here. So you kind of have to get these to pop out. And it can be a little difficult just because you have these two walls on the side here, so it's kind of hard to get your finger in there and pop these out but basically you want the two of them to then be like this so that we can go ahead and peg those into these two spots right here and you literally just drop this down and this pegs right on like that and then there you go let me zoom out here a little bit and we have the fully formed bio robo he looks really good. I like him a lot. He doesn't have a ton of kibble, which I appreciate. He really just has this piece on the back, which really doesn't get in the way of anything. And then you have the kind of condensed down fins here on the back. But really sharp. The head's on a ball joint, so you can move that all the way around. There's some movement forward, back. You can tilt side to side. You can have him look side to side. The shoulders have a kind of a crazy joint in here. So you have a butterfly joint. You also have a hinge, and you can see a nice range of motion there. Of course, you have the swivel. You have a bicep swivel. You also have this little panel here that you can kind of flip up. Maybe I can just kick it up with the... Nope. Nope, that's not working at all. So it's just a little difficult, but you can get this panel up. That way you can get the full range of the shoulder joint there. So you kind of have the butterfly joint here, and then you have this other joint here. Of course, you have a bicep swivel, you have 90 degrees in the elbow, you have a ball joint for the fist, and he does come with some alternate hands that we'll check out in a minute. You do have waist swivel, even though you peg into that piece, which is nice. And then you have kind of the same thing going on over here where you have a side skirt that you can push up 
if you want to get full range of motion with the foot. So you really get a nice kick out to the side. And then because this skirt, this skirt moves a little bit, but it has this extra joint. So you can kind of bring this, even if you don't want to move this at all, you can kind of bring this all the way out if you want them to kick forward because it has this extra joint in here. So you got the hinge there, you got movement front to back here. So you can really wind up really nice big kick there. So even if you don't want to move any of these skirt pieces, you could get some crazy. I mean, this kind of just looks like he's kicking in front of the skirt, which is nice. So really nice hip motion there. And you just kind of fold that back in there. You have a thigh swivel there. You do have a nice range of motion, double jointed knees. And because we moved those uh, fins out of the way, we can get the full use out of the double jointed knees there. And then you have a swivel and you have an ankle tilt. You just might have to pull this down a little bit to get use out of that ankle tilt. But then you can kind of get it where you want it and push it back in. So if I want to get the ankle tilt going here, you can get a nice wide stance if that's what you like. So I think it looks great. I really, really like them a lot. It's a simple transformation, but I think it totally works. And obviously it's what they did back on the show back in the day. So it's very faithful, but he looks great. I really like the design of the robot. He's got a unified color scheme. You know, kind of one of the more simplistic Sentai robots, but I really, really like him a lot. Now, he does come with some accessories. We'll get these out of the way first. He's got some uh, open hands, and then they give him this thing, which if I, I'm not familiar with the show because it was before my time and I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet, but it looks like a big salt shaker. I'm sure it's probably some kind of missile salvo or something. I really don't know, but you don't have to put this in here. It just it pegs into the hand. There's a little spot right there. It reminds me of like, you know, Soundwave's shoulder cannon. That's really what it looks like to me. But if you go ahead and just peg that in there, he can hold that. And then it's very simple to just pop these hands out because they're just simple ball joints. And then you can go ahead and pop this in. And then, you know, he's ready for popcorn. Just go ahead and put some salt on there. I really don't know what it's for. I'm sure it has some kind of meaning in the show. I just really don't know what it is. But then he's got the other open hand so you can do some cool poses. Uh, he comes with a sword and shield. So here is the sword. There are two small stickers on each side, one here, one here, but otherwise really nice silver paint here on the blade. Really like the look of the sword, very, very cool. Slides very simply into the hand. He also comes with a shield. This had, I think the green and the red, that was like one sticker and you had four that you put around to form the circle and then this one in the middle. And it's just got a little connection port here to pop it right into the fist. So you can go ahead and pose him with the sword and the shield, no problem. And he looks fantastic. Really very cool. And if you want to do some kind of like pose, dramatic pose with the open hand, you could pop this off, pop the open hand, and then you could do something like this. Maybe have the sword up, you know, kind of like a Voltron pose or something like that. So you do have some options there. But it's just a really great little robot. It was a fun build, not too difficult to put together. A medium amount of stickers. There were kind of a decent amount of stickers, but they weren't too difficult to apply. A lot of them were just kind of flat surfaces, so they went on really nicely. But yeah, he's just a really cool robo. Like I said, I don't really know the show at all. I have to check it out somewhere, find somewhere I can actually watch it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just a simplistic design unified color scheme you know it's just two vehicles instead of five or something like that so it kind of gives them a more cohesive look which i really like and i love the accessories i think the sword looks great i think the shield's great i still don't really know what the salt salt shaker is i'm just going to call it the salt shaker i'm sure that's not what it is but it just it makes me laugh so that's what i'm going to call it but yeah he's a really great robot really fun model kit definitely recommend checking it out if you're continuing with the... Now, this one, I think, is still Super Mini Plop. This was before they changed the name over to uh, Shokugan Modeling Project. But yeah, definitely track this one down. I think he's a great addition. If you're trying to collect all of the Sentai robots, I think this guy is definitely one you're going to want to add to the collection. Really like the design. Like I said, I love that head sculpt. Plus black, gold, and silver. I mean, that's just a universal color scheme. That always looks good. So I love this guy. I absolutely love him. So I think this guy's fantastic. I definitely really like the robot design. Like I said, the head is definitely giving me Batman vibes with those tall ears. And the color scheme is just, I mean, black and red and a little bit of silver always looks good together. So I think he's a great looking robo. Definitely have to check out this show at some point. 
this was a normal retail release, so if you're still trying to find this one, I don't think it should be too difficult to track down. Probably something like Mandarake or Yahoo Japan Auctions, probably your best bet. Um, but at least he wasn't a, a premium Bandai. They tend to be a little bit more scarce. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. Like I said, it was a fun build, and it's an awesome robot. Great articulation, uh, great paint. The stickers weren't too bad to apply. So I definitely recommend them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.